Good day everyone! Kamusta? Welcome back sa Math Husay General Math Tutorial. Sa video ito, pag-aaralan natin kung paano na represent ang rational function through its table of values, graphs, and equations. Let's begin! Alam natin na ang rational function can be written in the form of f of x equals p of x over q of x na kung saan ang p of x at q of x ay mga polynomial functions at ang q of x must not be equal to 0. Isa sa pinakamahalagang technique sa pag-graph ng rational function is to identify yung line na kung saan di magta-touch o dadaan yung graph natin. Isa sa pinakamahalagang teknik sa pag-graph ng rational function is to identify yung line na kung saan hindi magta-touch o dadaan ang graph. Tinatawag natin itong asymptotes. So, kailangan nating alamin kung kailan magiging zero ang ating denominator. Kasi pag zero ang denominator, magiging undefined ito. Kaya dapat alam natin kung ano ang domain ng given function. Kasi mas mapapadali ang pag-graph ng isang rational function. Para mas maintindihan ang proseso na ito, let's take these examples. Number 1. Consider a 100-meter track used for foot races. Represent the speed of a runner as a function of time it takes to run 100 meters in the track. Alam natin na ang distance is equal to speed times time. Since gusto natin mag-represent ng speed of a runner as a function, so ang gagamitin nating formula instead ay speed is equal to distance over time. In this case, dahil alam natin na ang distance ay 100 meters, so ang ating function will look like this. Speed is equal to 100 over t. Since gusto natin mag-write ng function na nagre-represent nitong situation, so we let the time be x. So, kung ang t natin is x, so ang function natin will be s of x equals 100 over x. So, madali lang mag-represent ng isang situation gamit ang rational function. This time, with this rational function na meron tayo, tayo naman ay magko-construct ng table of values for the speed of a runner against different run times. So, meron tayong table of values. So, meron tayong x values na kung saan ang x values na ito ay nagre-represent sa oras ng pagtakbo ng isang atlet. Ang function na s of x ay mag-determine kung gano'ng kabilis ang isang runner. So, since ang ating function ay s of x equals 100 over x at ang x natin is equal to 10, so kung tumatakbo ang isang athlete in 10 seconds, so 10 div 100 divided by 10 is 10. Right? So, ibig sabihin, ang speed ng athlete ay 10 meters per seconds. Kapag naman, ang time ng isang athlete ay 12 seconds, so, 100 divided by 12, that's 8.33. So, yan yung speed ng athlete. At x equals 14 naman, the speed will be 7.14. At x equals 16, so, 100 divided by 16 is 6.25. When your x is equal to 18, 100 divided by 18 is 5.56. And lastly, kung gusto nating malaman ang speed ng isang athlete kapag nag-consume siya ng 20 seconds, so 100 divided by 20, so 5 meters per seconds ang kanyang speed. So, nakompleto na natin ang ating table of values. With these ordered pairs, atin na itong igagraph. 
Igagraph natin ang function na s of x equals 100 over x. So, this is 10 and 10, 12 and 8.33, 14 and 7.14, the next is 16 and 6.25, next point is 18 and 5.56, and lastly, yung 20 and 5. Now, ngayon, i-coconnect natin itong mga points. So, as you can see, the graph of the function s of x equals 100 over x will look like this. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? How do you interpret this graph? So, ang ibig sabihin lang nito, kung maiksi yung oras ng pagtakbo ng isang atleta, ibig sabihin, mabilis yung takbo. Right? Kung mabagal naman, syempre, mahaba yung time na i-consume ng isang runner. So, yung ating rational function ay pwede nating i-represent gamit ang table of values. Pwede tayong mag-represent ito through graph. Pwede ring equation. So, this time, magtitake tayo ng ibang examples na kung saan bibigyan lang tayo ng function, then we will construct table of values. So, tayo din na mag-identify kung ano yung mga set of x values na ating i-evaluate. So, let's start. Let's take example number 2. Construct a table of values and sketch the graph of the rational function f of x equals 1 over x. Alam natin na magiging undefined ang given function at x equals 0, right? So, ibig sabihin yung domain nitong function na ito ay set of all x, elements of real number, except 0. So, alam din natin na kapag igagraph natin ito, itong function na ito, it will never cross the line at x equals 0. So, pag magkoconstruct tayo ng table of values, mas mainam na magsisimula tayo na mag-identify ng value ng x na kung saan magiging 0 ang ating denominator. So, at this case, dahil alam natin na undefined ito at x equals 0, so, isa siya sa magiging guide natin. So, ngayon, i-identify natin ang mga values of x. So, kukunin natin ang mga values ng x na nasa left side ng 0 at mga values ng x na nasa right side ng 0. So, sa left side ng 0, we have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Sa right side naman ng 0, ang kukunin nating mga numbers ay ang 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, itong mga values ng x ang ating gagamitin para isubstitute sa ating function to get the values of f of x. So, let's start. If your x is equal to negative 4, so isa-substitute natin siya sa value ng x, so 1 over negative 4 is negative 0 0.25. So, ang f of x natin at x equals negative 4 is negative 0 0.25. If ang x natin is equal to negative 3, ang value naman ay negative 0 0.33. So, when your x is equal to negative 2, sa so substitute lang natin, so value ng x, 1 over negative 2, that's negative 0.5. So ang value ng f of x natin is negative 0.5. Kapag naman, negative 1 ang ating x, so we have 1 over negative 1, it's negative 1, right? So we have negative 1 as f of x. Now ngayon, Hindi na tayo mag -e evaluate ng 0 dahil alam natin na undefined ang function when x is 0. So, punta na tayo sa right side ng ating 0. When x is equal to 1, the value of f of 1 is 1. Kapag naman ang x is equal to 2, it will be 1 half. Right? Now ngayon, if x is equal to 3, you have 1 over 3, that's 0 0.33. And when your x is equal to 4, your f of 4 will be 0 0.25. So this time, 
na kompleto na natin ang ating table of values. Kaya ko pinapahanap sa inyo una anong ang value ng denominator na kung saan magiging zero ito kasi yun yung magiging guide natin sa paghanap ng mga x and y values. Kasi mas mapapadali yung graph. Pag graph natin ng function. So with this table of values, we will graph this. no? So, graph. So una, we have negative 4 and 0. 25 and so on. So, sunod-sunod na natin ipa-plot yung ating mga points. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung graph natin mamaya, no, makikita nyo na hindi ito mag approach So, see, if you connect these points, the graph will never cross x equals 0. Yung nakikita nyo yung red na, na line, imaginary line sa gitna, hindi mag i-intersect yung ating graph sa line na yan. So, Kaya, mas mainam na kunin natin yung value ng ating uh, denominator na kung saan magiging zero ito. Kasi, alam natin na undefined. So, kukunin na lang natin yung mga numbers sa left and right ng ating x value. So, in this case, we were able to graph the, the function f of x equals 1 over x. So, let's take another example. Example number 3. Construct a table of values and sketch the given rational function g of x equals 2 all over the quantity of x minus 2 squared. So, again, kailan ba magiging 0 ang ating denominator? We note that yung function natin magiging undefined kapag ang x natin is equal to 2. ba? So, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, to construct the table of values, so, nasa gitna ng ating table of values si 2 dahil magiging undefined yan. So, kukunin natin ulit yung mga numbers sa left side ng 2 at yung mga numbers sa right side ng 2. Ang mga set of x values na ating gagamitin ay negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1. Sa right side naman ng 2, we have 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now ngayon, this set of x values will be used para isubstitute natin sa ating given function to find yung ating f of x. So, if x is equal to negative 2, ang ating f of negative 2 is equivalent to 0 0.125. Kapag naman ang x natin is equal to negative 1, so we have 0 0.22. So pag kahanapin natin ang mga set of y values, isa substitute lang natin yung given na x value. So if x is equal to 0, so we have 0.5. When x is equal to 1 naman, substitute natin ang value ng x which is 1. So you have positive 2. Kapag naman, nag-substitute tayo ng x equals 3, so that will be 2. And if f of 4 ang ating hahanapin, that will be 0 0.5. Kapag naman isa-substitute natin ang 5 sa ating given function, we have 0 0.22. At ang panghuli, if x is equal to 6, then the given function will be equivalent to 0 0.125. So, ngayon, meron na tayong table of values. Meron na tayong mga ordered pairs na pwede natin gamitin to graph the given function. So, let's start graphing this function. So, ipa-plot lang natin itong mga ordered pairs. You see that the red line, that's the... Uh, asymptote, the vertical asymptote. Ibig sabihin, di, dya, di lalampas dyan yung line o hindi magtatouch yung graph dyan sa line. So, we plot these points. So, sunod-sunod na, ipa-plot natin. So, you see that the given graph, kapag i-coconnect natin yung mga points ngayon, so, yung graph 
will approach the line x equals 2 pero hindi ito magtatouch. Ang tawag natin dyan sa line na yan is asymptote. Pero kung titingnan natin sa graph, madali tayong mag-sketch ng given rational function kung alam natin kung kailan magiging undefined ang isang function. So, again, find the value of the denominator na kung saan magiging zero ito. Tapos, hanapin na lang natin yung set of x values sa right side at set of x values sa left side. Then, use it to substitute in the given function para makabuo ng inyong table of values. In this case, our g of x equals 2 over the quantity of x minus 2 squared ay nag-graph na natin. At ganito yung forma ng kanyang graph. Please pause the video and try these exercises. You construct your own table of values and then scratch the given graph. If you think Math Husay Math Tutorial helps you learn math on your own, please give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sikreto para maging Math Husay, matuto, at mag-ensayo. Abangan ang susunod na episode at matutong maghanap ng domain and range ng rational function. Kita-kits mga kamat-husay! Bye!